IDERA presents Using Business Processes for Data Governance. Did you know that 90% of the data in the world was created in the past two years? Google alone processes on average 40,000 search queries a second. And every two days we create as much information as we did from the beginning of time until 2013. As more and more data is created, companies must seek out solutions that will help them to understand and process their data. Some industries already have regulatory standards that are influencing their data governance. There's Sarbanes-Oxley for accounting and finance, Basel 1, 2, and 3 is used for banking, HIPAA for healthcare, and GDPR for data protection, which will go into effect in May of 2018 and affect any company who gathers information from European Union members as well as those who process that information like the cloud service providers. Poor data governance can result in lawsuits for the company, regulatory fines imposed on the company, security and data breaches, data-related risks that can be expensive and damaging to a company's reputation, and legal discovery issues which hand too much information over to competitors in court cases. Most companies don't even know what data they have available. A lot of data is thrown into a data lake waiting to be used one day, and few people in the company even know what to go fishing for in that lake to get it out. Companies also throw out a lot of data and discover later that they needed that data and they've lost the opportunity to collect it. If you don't have a good data governance policy, increasing the scope and scale of your data just breeds confusion and excessive storage costs. In a world of data danger, with pitfalls and traps all around you, how can your organization implement solutions to avoid all of this? Well, I'm glad you asked. I'm here to save your day, or rather, your data, or at the very least, I'll help you identify some solutions that can help you. Data governance policies define who has access to your data at which points in the process, as well as who is accountable for that information, how your data is stored and maintained, how your data is mapped across systems, how your data is backed up, how and when your data is archived, and how your data is secured from data breaches and malicious intents. Creating business process models using a tool like ERStudio Business Architect will help to document new policies and effectively communicate these policies across your organization. ERStudio Business Architect has a variety of objects available beyond just the BPMN 2.0 modeling elements. You can use reference objects to identify individuals, business units, business rules, business elements, and applications that interact with your business processes and your data. You can use external data objects that can be used with your business process diagrams or imported over from your ERStudio Data Architect data models. Of course, you can also use the standard BPMN 2.0 data objects as well. The examples that I'm about to show you are very basic and meant to help you to think about the kinds of processes that you should create. Business process diagrams can become extremely complex when building your own specific processes. So who can access your data? In this diagram, both the marketing team and the sales team need to access information out of the CRM solution. The marketing team creates the contacts, but after the sales team reaches out to the individual, they become a customer in the system with new data to gather about them. You need to make sure that the right people have access to the information necessary to do their job, but you might want to limit access to any data that they don't need. So who is accountable for your data? In this diagram, data stewards named after our mascot, the rubber ducky, show who has the responsibility when it comes to different types of data in the system. Publishing it out to your organization, individuals will know who they need to talk to when they need to get access to the data, and data and development teams know who has the authority to make the decisions pertaining to the data. How is your data stored? In this diagram, we identify the various different tasks when a customer comes to a website and where information is stored along the customer's journey through the order process. So how is your data mapped across the system? In this diagram, we show a web system and a retail system, and it's very likely that these systems could be created by different teams at different times and potentially outside of your company altogether. 
Having a high-level business diagram that shows business stakeholders how tables map between systems allows everyone to be on the same page with all of the integrations between systems. Using a data modeling tool like ER Studio Data Architect will let you get even finer grained details on exactly how that data is mapped once the business users approve of the high-level mapping. So how is your data backed up? In this diagram, we delve into the processes surrounding data that is not normally scheduled to be backed up. Data teams spend a lot of time managing their storage, and having a process that tells individuals how information is backed up in your system allows them to follow a standard process that minimizes data loss. How is your data archived? In this diagram, we show the various different data stores that are involved in a data archiving process. Of course, this process could also indicate times when information is archived and exactly what is archived when and how long that data is meant to be kept in the storage resources. How is your data protected? In this diagram, we've outlined a data breach process that can be delivered to any individual who may be monitoring breach activities. Having this process outlined in advance saves valuable time and resources during a case of an emergency. And GDPR regulations state that you must notify supervisory authorities within 72 hours of an occurrence of a breach. As you think through all this information, remember that all of these business process diagrams are very simple. Many of the regulatory agencies will tell you what you have to think about and what you have to document, but they don't really tell you how to go about it. And each organization has the opportunity to create whatever policies and processes work for them. Working with your technical teams and business stakeholders, you can have well-defined data governance policies to help your business succeed and grow for years to come.